So I have come all the way over and I am just going to put the twine on the very edge. It'll cover up the pumpkins a little bit, but not too much. So there you go. So I'm just going to continue down and um, up here. Hmm, what am I trying to say? I don't know, but we'll be back. So I have it all done. All of the um, twine is on. So it hangs over the edge. So after it is all dry, I will go and trim it. We'll give it a haircut. So now I am going to find a small stamp set and do my title. It will have something to do with turning the pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns or pumpkin pie. So let me ponder on that while this is drying. And we'll be back. Trying to figure out this light over here. I have to get some better lighting for my... Um, area. Okay, I'm going to do the letters and I got a piece of the watercolor paper which I am going to cut and we'll save that. I'll just put it in the pad with the other paper and I want to give this a wash. I am going to give it the purple wash that we used earlier. So it's right there. I think I'm going to wet the paper First, I'm going to mix my color. Oh, I still have plenty over there. I have plenty of the purple. We'll add some white. I don't know where my um, palette knife is. I may have left it in the kitchen. So it is dark into light. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that. And mix it up. good. Now I am going to wet my paper. And I want a wet brush and I'll go into the color. And I'm going to go back and forth. I'm going to have to let this dry before I stamp on it. And here's another step that I should have done um, way in the beginning so that when I get to this point, the paper would be dry. And I am getting the little bits of straw, the little bits of the um, twine hair on there. So I have, so now I see I have little bits of the twine hair and it is not gonna come off. That's all right. Actually, I think I want it to be a little darker. It's the same color as the background on the piece, so I'm not introducing a new color. Oh, that looks good, even with the hairs on it. So now I do have to let this dry. Make sure to clean off your area. I'm probably going to have hairs forever over here. 